Should Israel withdraw its military from the Jordan Valley and rely on international forces for its security? Some politicians and diplomats around the world say yes. But 70% of Israelis say no. Who's right? Egypt. After the Suez Crisis, the United Nations Emergency Force, UNEF, is deployed in the Sinai Peninsula. Its mission, securing the cessation of hostilities, ensuring freedom of navigation in the Strait of Tehran, and serving as a buffer between Israel and Egypt. However, in May 1967, Egypt masses its army on Israel's border and closes the Strait of Tehran. UNEF retreats. The stage is set for the outbreak of the Six-Day War. Lebanon, 1978. After repeated armed attacks against Israel by terrorist organizations operating from southern Lebanon and Israeli defensive actions, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, UNIFIL, is established. Its mission, restoring peace and security and the effective authority of the Lebanese government. However, UNIFIL fails to stop the flow of hostile forces from entering southern Lebanon and fails to stop the terrorist attacks against Israel. Two wars ensued in 1982 and 2006. In 2000, UNIFIL troops observe Hezbollah's cross-border attack on Israel and the kidnapping of three Israeli soldiers, but do nothing to stop the attack. In 1983, Iran orders Hezbollah to attack the multinational force in Beirut. 241 American servicemen and 58 French paratroopers are killed. The multinational force withdraws completely within six months. 2006. UNIFIL is upgraded with European troops and weapons in order to implement UN Security Council Resolution 1701. Its mission to stop Hezbollah activity south of the Litani River and help implement a weapons embargo on the organization. However, UNIFIL does nothing to stop the rearmament of Hezbollah. We are at a point now when Hezbollah, where Hezbollah has uh, far more uh, rockets and missiles than most governments in the world. Gaza. 2005, after Israel pulls out of Gaza, European monitors are stationed on the Gaza-Egypt border. Their mission, to prevent weapons smuggling into Gaza. However, in 2006, as Hamas begins its takeover of Gaza, the Europeans flee their positions. Iranian and Libyan weapons flow into the arsenals of Hamas, Islamic Jihad and Al-Qaeda affiliates and are fired at Israeli population centers. By June 2007, their operations are officially suspended. Syria. The United Nations Disengagement Observer Force, UNDOF, is established in the Golan Heights following the Yom Kippur War. Its mission, to maintain the ceasefire between Israel and Syria. However, in 2013, as the Syrian civil war intensifies, Austria, Croatia, India and the Philippines retreat. The repeated failure of international forces to maintain peace and security goes well beyond the Middle East. Peacekeeping forces from the US and Europe dispatched to Somalia, Bosnia and Rwanda have ultimately retreated when attacked, allowing a bloodbath to follow. Since 1967, the Jordan Rift Valley has served as a formidable geographic barrier protecting Israel and the front line of its defense in the east. The Israeli army has been deployed along its steep slopes thwarting terrorist infiltration and deterring potential attacks from hostile armies. This critical zone cannot be turned over to international forces that have consistently proven to be ineffective, unreliable and quick to retreat from conflict zones. Israel's national ethos has always been one of self-reliance and it has never requested that its allies shed their soldiers' blood for its defense. History leads us to the unmistakable conclusion, Israel must defend itself by itself.